Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well. So this is not a latest news episode, I know that all I seem to do just recently is in latest news um, videos. This is just an opinion piece on the recent drama that's been going on in Escape from Tarkov. Um, I would say that normally I wouldn't get involved in the drama, but I do like to sort of read it and not necessarily take part. I suppose producing a video like this means that I am kind of taking part in it because I'm going to give my opinion on it. But I'm such a small channel that it doesn't register really anywhere, so I can get away with it you know if i had half a million followers then yeah my opinion would carry some weight but right now i can just voice my opinion to you good people that follow me and generally not take any criticism for my opinion it seems to be that i watch some of these big youtubers give out their opinion and, and they just get slated like hell i think sometimes it's unwarranted sometimes it is warranted but i can generally get away with it being such a small youtuber so those of you that are active in the community will know that we've had this lutz program doing the rounds which was a way of of filtering out the image on the screen so that you could make dark areas look a lot lighter. The upshot of this was that you were able to pick out people easier when you were on the map. So it gained prevalence over the last couple of weeks and then on Monday Battlestate decided that that should no longer be used with the game. It gave people an unfair advantage and you were banned from launching the game if you had it installed on your PC. Now they did say that there'd be no bans for those people that were using it but going forward if people were actively using these programs and they knew they wasn't meant to be then they would be banned. So uh, there will be more programs like this come out but for now there seem, it seems to have gone a little bit quiet but I get where people are coming from that use this look program to a certain degree there will be people out there that were using it to gain a tactical advantage in the game i.e. they're able to see people before they can see them because things are rendering in from a lot longer distance because they've been able to filter what they're seeing on the screen that is wrong and it shouldn't be allowed and according to Battlestate Games it isn't allowed especially through third party um App. Now that's not to say that you can't use post effects to slightly change how the game looks and maybe gain a slight advantage. You could even use NVIDIA control panel on your desktop to change how the game looks and give yourself an advantage that way. That's a bit of a grey area. I mean that's not something that Battlestate can control because it's a hardware level on your PC and they can't control how you do that. But from a software level they can to a degree and they would rather use the post effects than use any kind of third party software. But I understand where there are these people that use these simply to make the game look better. Tarkov is a dreary looking game sometimes. If you go in when it's brilliant sunshine it's a very nice very vibrant game but for the most part it's quite dreary looking but that is the kind of aesthetic that they're trying to portray with this game and they only want to allow you to change that to a certain degree because obviously Nikita and the Battlestate games as a whole have a vision for this game and you know they don't want to deviate too much from it. Obviously you have to allow people to tweak it a little bit to to their tastes but there is a degree at which that has to stop because then it becomes a, a, gets to a point where people are able to turn it into a tactical advantage and that's not fair so people are going in using this Lutz program and they're going up against people that are just using the, the average Tarkov settings and they are at a complete disadvantage to these people so yes that shouldn't be allowed but being able to change the way the game look is you know for the most part i don't see anything wrong with it as long as you don't gain an advantage but making the game look better and not gaining an advantage is a very hard thing to do so i think there's a, a bit of a balancing act that has to be done there but when you read the comment sections on facebook and on twitter you'll see the vast majority of people just want to get rid of darker areas in the game so interchange is the one map that always comes up in this discussion interchange is a very dark map the lighting has has been worked on it quite a few times but it still does never seems seems to get any better and I think it's one of these maps where this is how they want it to look. This is their idea of how they want it to look and feel when you go in and they don't want people to be able to change that too much which is all well and good but when you're pushed into that map because you've got quests to complete on there you are having to put up with how they feel the map should look and I think there should be a little bit more choice as to how the map looks. Whether that's if you want us to go into a dark map then you make it dark in the night time mode and if you you know if we want to be able to go into a light map then it should be made lighter during the day there should be lighter areas in it even if you end up putting light sources in some of these dark areas just to illuminate it a little bit more then you, because at the moment the map sort of straddles between sort of being a nighttime map even when it's daytime but there isn't enough darkness to warrant taking night vision in because you're still going to be blinded by the odd light source that's about so for me personally i think if you go in in a nighttime it should be a completely night 
lights out of the map. There shouldn't be any light sources whatsoever. It should just be power off and you make your own way around with either a flashlight or night vision. But then you have the option of going in during the day and it's nice and bright. You can see things, you know, you might have dull areas, but these completely pitch black, black dark areas, it's something that maybe needs to be taken out. But of course, like I say, this is just my opinion. Some people will enjoy playing Interchange the way it is, although I don't know many people that do, but there will be some sort of sadists out there that enjoy it how it is right now. But yeah, this, there was a lot of confusion over this LUTs program and whether people could use it, whether they would get a ban for it, whether Battlestate agreed with people using it or they wasn't interested about it at all. And there was a lot of conflicting information coming out at the time. So one of the other things that has been pushed into the forefront at the moment is the communication from Battlestate and the communication through the emissary program and the the emissaries, sorry, and the Sherpa program. And I think maybe that's why part of the Sherpa program has been shut down now because communication was a little bit lax, but that's just a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's it comes down to this thing that I, and I've had it in the back of my head for quite a long time. I've followed this game for four years now. Communication from Battlestate to begin with when I started playing this game was dire. And I mean, absolutely dire. It was, it was really, really bad, but they have come on leaps and bounds over the years with regards to their information that they put out there. But this wipe seems like it's gone a little bit backwards there hasn't been a lot of communication obviously a few weeks ago we had veritas put out a video where he sort of um, galvanized community spirit against you know the the uncontrollable recoil that we were getting the sound issues that we were having and battlestate responded by lowering recoil they put a sound fix out whilst it hasn't fixed sound it did make it slightly better but there hasn't been any sort of real communication coming out from them we haven't had a podcast you know there's been no sort of talking tarkov or anything like that to let us know anything and for me they have such powerful tools at their disposal but they don't use them correctly now if you are an avid escape from tarkov gamer and you're involved in the community you will no doubt follow them on twitter facebook instagram you will most likely follow nikita's personal twitter and instagram as well because you do sometimes get news on those that you don't get on the other things and this is where the problem becomes for me the news outputting is so fragmented with this game it is just unbelievable so when you go into this game what do you have to do you have to open the launcher the launcher gives you basic information about the game you've got a section which will show the latest patch notes it have got a section that shows their official twitter but overall it's a little bit of a mess for me personally i think this launcher could be done a lot better now for a lot of people they won't know that escape from tarkov actually has a server status page and it's this page that you can see on screen right now now you will not find a link to this as far as i've been able to look at anyway i haven't been able to find a link to this page from the launcher now a link to this page should be prevalent on the launcher as far as i'm concerned it should be in a big banner big button along the bottom server status for that latest information even a link into the escape from tarkov discord from there because if the servers go down the discord is the quickest place to know whether they are down or not because everybody will be sounding off instantly oh this isn't working that's not working i'm stuck in a raid i'm stuck in a loading loop things like that it's the quickest way to find stuff out but again no link on there to go into that so i think the launcher needs a rework when it comes to battlestate putting information out they will of course put it across their social media but not everybody does social media or not everybody checks it every day or not everybody has the notifications on but everybody has to look at the launcher when they launch the game so they're missing a trick really in my opinion that is the main fit place where they could put information so when it came to this LUTs program and there's a lot of community furore over it they could have put a message in there saying we are looking at this program we'll get back to you whether or not it is allowed in game you know it could be updated by the minute if they wanted to it is that simple and again when you go into the game you come up to the main screen they can edit that main screen at will and put news and things up on there that we need to know you know important information but they don't they leave it blank so again missing a trick you they could these are two powerful tools at their disposal to put information straight in our faces and they don't do it they just leave it they don't bother with it at all and i just think it's a bit of a a, a bit of a missed trick they should be doing this you know so when it came to that looks program everybody would have been updated in it 
everybody would have known what was going on they would have put out we're looking at it we'll get back to you and then when they decided it was banned it would have been there for every single player to see not just those that are on social media or go and watch youtube videos like mine to get the latest news they would have it there right in front of them and then of course if they wanted to do a bit of research they could go looking across the socials and find out more about what it's like so yeah i just think that the communication coming out of Battlestate has been a little lackluster recently there's not been too much of it nothing of an official level anyway and if there has been i've missed it because i've obviously not been looking in the right places because once again it's very fragment fragment fragmented <laughs> fragmented the way that they put the news out there so i just think that they could do better and i hope that in the future they do i hope they use the tools at their disposal in a better way i.e the launcher i.e the game's front page you know there is a better way to put stuff out there to people even putting messages into our message center within the game you know you see that little number in the corner and you think oh got a message you know usually it's an insurance return but this time no it's a system message from direct from Battlestate Games saying we're doing this we're doing that you know there's so many ways that they could improve the communication but they just seem so slow on it sometimes so yeah like I say that's just my opinion on recent events and how I think they could do things better especially in terms of communicating with us out there you know the players so maybe somebody somewhere will see this and upscale it to them or maybe they'll, they'll hear it and ban me I don't know <laughs> we'll have to wait and see but yeah let me know in the comment section down below how you think they could improve communication to us the players I know this video has gone on a little too long probably I'm sorry about that but as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one take care